in your heart. How does she have control over that? She, she's just discouraging me. She's saying no, it's fake. And she's saying okay. no, it's fake. Fake based on what? Why is it fake? She's saying that, oh, God doesn't exist in that. I'm like, based on what? Because the fact of the matter is, I would argue Islam is a logical, rational religion. Does it make sense? So the Quran actually advises us to to, to reflect, to ponder. So, um, so, yeah, so right now, reflect and ponder upon the creation and there are signs for the believers. So my question to yourself is, what evidence does she come with? And I hope you re debunk them. Because I think she's not really coming with evidence, she's just making a emotional argument, right? So, I don't think that's changed your belief in your heart. Yeah? So, why don't you testify to what you believe in your heart? Are you ready to do it now? Yeah? Now, before you do it, can I walk you through the five pillars, which I assume you already know? Tawhid? Tawhid is the most important one, which is, it ties into um, Shahada. Because you know, you're testifying um, that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. So Tawhid is part of knowing Allah. Yeah? And not making partners with Allah. Yeah? So that's part of the Shahada. And then the testimony that the Prophet uh, Muhammad was a messenger sent by Allah, which you believe. Yeah. Then the second pillar is praying five times a day. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Because the fact of the matter is, it's your personal journey. Um, once you know how to pray, it's that daily connection with Allah. He protects you from uh, immorality and fasha, shameless behavior. Yeah. Because. When are you going to be shameless? Like, you wake up, you pray. In the afternoon, you pray. In the midday, you pray. In the night, you pray. Uh, before you go to sleep, you pray. It's like, it's a regular connection with God. Yeah? Then you've got giving zakat, which is 2.5% of your annual wealth. Money you haven't spent in one calendar year, um, then you give to charity. Then you've got fasting in the month of Ramadan. Yeah? And then you have um, Hajj, which is the holy pilgrimage. Yeah. Do you have any issues with those? Okay. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as a me messenger sent by God? Do you believe he's a messenger sent by God? Um, I don't believe in Christianity. No, no, no. As in, as Muslims, we believe in Jesus Christ as a messenger sent by God. Um, as somebody who submitted his will, will to God, who was a, who was a Muslim. He, he submitted his will to God. Does that make sense? The same way Moses was a Muslim, he submitted his will to God. But you don't make, you don't believe Jesus Christ is God, right? Brilliant. So right now, to be a Muslim, there's six articles of faith. Yeah. Very briefly, very quickly. Um, the first is the belief in Allah. Um, in no particular order. The second is in regards to belief in the angels. Do you believe in angels? Yeah. Belief in all the messengers of God. So Adam, Noah, David, Suleiman, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Messengers of God, you believe that? Yeah. Then the books I was revealed to them. Um, and the last book, which is the Quran, which you believe in, right? Okay. And then you have um, that decree, good and bad, is all from Allah. Yeah, divine decree, Qadr, yeah, and the belief in Judgment Day, that Allah is going to call us to account to, uh, for our deeds basically, yeah. So now sister, are you willing to testify in, with your tongue what you believe in your heart? Yeah, so I'm going to say it in English and then we we'll say in Arabic, yeah, so repeat after me in English. And I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet and Messenger sent by Allah. Yeah. So now I'm going to say in Arabic, Ashadu, Allah, Ilaha, 
illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh that statement with the belief in your heart has alhamdulillah wiped away all of your sins you've just become a muslim how does it feel yeah may allah bless you alhamdulillah so now um like i said all your past sins are wiped now you can start the journey in regards to speaking to you, like gaining knowledge yeah the more knowledge you have then you can actually customize that to kind of rebuttal and um, have dialogue and discourse with family members introduce it to it but before you do that be firm in regards to what you believe there's no point you jumping into water trying to swim and save someone when you don't know how to swim so make yourself a strong swimmer gain strong knowledge and like you said tawhid first and foremost tawhid um, knowing allah is unique in his names and attributes um, knowing allah is unique in his lordship knowing that allah is one and alone worthy of worship does it make sense so these elements look deep into it reading the quran keeping that daily connection with the quran um, keeping good company um, reading your salah um, do you have any questions for me sister no. yeah? um, i just i have one question actually here go on bismillah um, this is what you posted online is it um what we're going to do we're going to put it on youtube and we're going to blur you out all right yeah if you want i can get them to change your voice you want me to change your voice no it's just blur that is enough yeah all right that's fine um was that your question that's very anticlimactic i'm like one question yeah we're going to blur you out um i'll give you like we've got um dow to the soul we've got sam dawa we've got you know upon the hawk we've got sf dawa and dawa dan and we've got well we've got continuous message foundation here as well so all of this is going to be posted there but it's very motivational um what was it exactly that um motivated you or made you look into islam and make you know that look i want to take the shahada um i actually like i've studied christianity a bit like growing up because i went to like catholic school and that okay so i never found myself to believe anything like not the slightest bit it didn't it just didn't make sense to me yeah. but um now i go to a school where almost like every student is muslim Mashallah. and i've seen how like they practice islam and like i was just like I, this is the only religion like I believe in. Subhanallah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Um, what I'm going to do, sister, I'm going to give you a number for another sister, um, Reva as well. Um, if you message her, um, then she can put you in touch with other sisters, circles, and um, like new Muslim circles and so on and so forth. I don't even know where this goes, but I'm just going to hold on to it. Um, is, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? So, let me do that now. Okay. So, if you take this number. Okay. No, no, no. We're, uh, I'm just giving a uh, contact details for Riva. Pardon? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the number's there. Yeah. Um, drop her a text message now. WhatsApp message. And then she'll put you in touch with our reverts. And the main thing is, you know, when it comes to hijab and stuff, right? Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, in regards to the first contention you had, right? When your mom was telling you about hijab, like, and then they, that's your personal journey where depending on how modestly you're dressed and what dress code you want to adopt and how you do it um, that, that's not what makes a Muslim out. that's not what makes a Muslim that makes sense. Um, it's more rewarding it's more you submitting to God's will it's you following the guidance perfect guidance that makes sense. but 
the core thing is the belief in your heart. Yeah. So don't feel like oh, if your mom or somebody comes and criticizes the dress code, like that's not the main thing about Islam. So if you want to criticize something, then come let's talk theology. Let's talk about belief. Let's talk about preservation of the Quran. Let's talk about the lifestyle of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, which they're not going to be able to find an issue with. Does it make sense? And whilst you go through your journey, you'll be able to actually see that you can rebuttal anything they come with. Yeah? So in Islam, um, I just wanted to kind of give you that element. So I don't want you to feel um, pressured or feel like how the state of Islam is connected to your dress code. Yeah? And secondly, Alhamdulillah, now that you've taken each other, go home, like, have a bath and then you can pray your first salah. Do you know how to pray? You don't have to so David, you'd be surprised that my people actually take the Shahada and it's like they know how to pray, they know all these different things, but they didn't quite know how to become a Muslim. So, I mean, I think with yourself, Hamza, you've done your research and now you go home uh, and Hamza, enjoy Islam and you're guaranteed paradise. Any last questions before I let you go? Yeah. May Allah bless your sister. And uh, yeah, you've got Quran, right? At home. Yeah, no problem. Be careful with your phone. Yeah. Yes. Yes.